Hi everyone and welcome to the first two days that I'm showing you of my eating for four bucks a day. Technically I just eat whatever is at home the first two days. Um, the first grocery shop will be in the next video. Technically I wanted to go and get groceries today but um, I got a migraine and I'm feeling pretty sick so I'm at home hence why my like I showered and then I didn't brush my hair. But yeah, uh, there are a few things that I want to note. One, yes I say that I want to keep it as balanced as possible. Please keep in mind that not everyone has always access to like fruits, veggies, all kinds of proteins and everyone has like access to different things. Um, especially in my case, most fruits, most mostly veggies but like also some fruits, produce in general that I can feed to my bunnies will go to my bunnies before it goes to me. So they don't get like kitchen scraps, they get like this, like the whole thing. And I usually stick with like canned or frozen stuff that I can't feed them or like avocados are poisonous for bunnies so I eat those. Um, yeah, like fruits with like a stone in the middle, um, they, those are not great for bunnies either so I eat those. Or slash I freeze them, that's my plan anyway. Just a second. And um, I also want to point out that I have disordered eating habits, you could say, or like the more extreme version and eating disorder. Um, and I ha also have like a lot of sensory issues when it comes to my food, so please don't judge me or judge other people for what they eat no matter what size or what they look like and how much money they have or how little money they have because maybe they only are capable of eating like 15 f different foods at this point in time because everything else makes them gag don't judge them for that third thing I don't show what I drink um, I usually like I think at least I think I mentioned um, in a sec, or like a show that I have fun or something, but I don't know. I drink sparkling water, medium sparkling water. Um, I do that because of sensory issues, we, because we have perfectly drinkable like um, tap water, but like I have a lot of sensory issues with that. I'm sorry, I'm like uh, a little bit off at the moment, but I really want to film this so that I can edit things so that I can continue filming tomorrow. I sometimes flavor it with like those syrups or like sugar-free syrups that I have at home because I just have them at home at the moment. I am not going to exclude things that I find in my home and nothing. I will show you my fridge tomorrow. I won't show my pantry because I don't have a pantry because my things are like stored everywhere. That's why I also can't say like what I have at home sometimes I don't know. Because I'm still in the process of decluttering after having a roommate um, some time ago and after being really, really sick, having um, heart issues this year, last year, etc. I think these should be all the disclaimers that I needed. But I'm not quite sure, but if I should have like, if I should have forgotten something, I will hopefully make a note. I think I mentioned that I take a supplement, please obviously like discuss this with your doctor, but like it makes sense for me, usually I have to take more than just my multivitamin. Um, if there's more to say, I will tell you probably in the next video. Just one last thing. One, I'm autistic, so like I don't really like I struggle with eye contact or like to look in a camera. So I look everywhere and I'm like nervous because it's like I don't like to show my face without like makeup or filters or anything at the moment. Second, um, some people that are not new to my account but like or, like to me or whatever, they know that I am part of the DID system and I have been for years. I don't make a huge thing out of it online or at least not on the channels but um like i said my name is coma rose and i'm the current host i usually have like a very strong accent but 
Not everyone has that, so if they're all just like Kokon or something, um, I might not have an accent or a different one. I'm not mocking anyone or like I'm not trying to pretend that I'm someone that I'm not. So like if I do my no like if I talk like me, I don't sound like this. If I talk like me, I technically sound very much like this. I try to suppress it a little bit in my everyday life because this is a very distinct voice and a very distinct accent. When I first came around to be, it was much stronger. And also, um, it caused a lot of issues in my everyday life with people that don't believe me or people that are like not really helpful, don't understand. So, yeah. And I also or usually like, I speak Danish and German and English. English and Danish being easier for me than German. But like, yeah. I will not like mention this in every video. I just want to mention it right now in this video. And I will also not give like the disclaimer what I drink in every video or something because I will put a part one or something in the title. So I hope people will just like, if you really want to follow along over the next weeks, days, days, weeks, months, whatever, it makes sense to watch the first one, two, three videos at least to make sure that you get the information you need. Anyway, I hope you enjoy despite it just being leftovers and I sound like real sick in most clips and there will be like more interesting stuff to come. Just not in this video, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. But maybe it inspires you already. Who knows? Bye! Hi everyone, this is basically day one. It's Wednesday the 19th question mark? I think so. 19th of June 2024. Um, I want to real quick address my breakfast drink, so to speak. Um, I buy those because these are one of the things that I like allow myself, like as luxury. I try to get them on sale for usually 77 cents uh, at Little or Rewe, my local supermarkets, when they are on sale. Um, yeah, there's not much else to say than that, I guess. Here we have some budget instant ramen, um, grated cheese. I like to use light or high protein grated cheese because I oh, like shredded cheese for the protein, obviously. Um, some carrot, cabbage, chili, onion, pickled, like kimchi pickled, kimchi style pickled stuff. Um, like cheap instant ramen and some soy sauce. Uh, I don't use the oil packet usually, but you obviously can. I just prefer to not. And yes. Now I'm gonna use up some leftovers. Uh, well, like leftovers, but um, stuff from the food shelter mainly. I had two protein wraps left over that I bought. Um, I will check if this one is okay, but I got an avocado, like some vegan falafels, some tomatoes, and this white bean dip tomato style um in my last like food shelter visit so yeah kind of falafel wraps style i guess i left out uh the tomatoes after all like i had one and i caused um sensory issues so i decided to leave them out and eat it at some other point i'll give them to my bunnies but yeah um i'm gonna have this ice cream sandwich now I usually tend to make uh, dessert wraps, but um, with like protein cereal or something. But like right now, I have like toast and some chocolate spread that is almost empty, and some sugar free chocolate chips. And yeah, made a sandwich out of it as a dessert. I'm gonna have two buns and I'm gonna put some like veggie toppings, like I call them pollock, so like cheese or like uh, vegan sausages or something on top pretty standard here. Good morning everyone, it's day two um, and this is the energy that I'm gonna have today. I don't know if I really love it, but I kind of really like it and it's like, I'm always like, hmm, I don't know if I love them and then I really want another one. And Little has them on sale this week if you have the app for 77 cents, so I will go and check out if they still have like more on Saturday. And yeah, today I'm gonna go into the city and I have therapy and I need groceries and yeah 
like the next time that I'm later in the city, I'll probably try it to go to go back, but not today, I assume. For my first real meal, I'm gonna have two grilled cheese sandwiches. Sandwiches, sorry. This is basically just like some random cheese I have on my fridge and some grated cheese, some bitzel, which is like plant-based butter spread something, and um, you know. Toast. I prefer the um, whole wheat one. That's why it's so dark. And yes, I'm gonna have the most random dessert. Uh, this is leftover PB2, as you can tell, with powdered peanut butter with some uh, chocolate chips. And I just mix it in the lid because there was really not much left. And I'm just gonna eat that now. As you can probably tell, there's no really wedges in there. There are some like spring onions from cooking it, but these are. Everything here is over the expiring date, way past it. We don't talk about it. Udon noodles, cheese, and egg whites, liquid egg whites at that. Uh, some seasoning, some sesame oil, and some soy sauce. Soy sauce is probably my favorite condiment. I don't really have anything fresh, but I was struck by a migraine, so I couldn't go out and get groceries. So we, we are trying to eat this now. I'm gonna have an ice cream sandwich as dessert. Um, for like usually one year 99. Sometimes they are on sale for 160 or something. I'm also gonna take my multi. And also to the last slide, um, I didn't finish everything, but like, um, just because like it's like, I wasn't too sure about the egg. Just saying, please don't eat anything where you're not sure if you can still eat it or not. Always be careful. And. Obviously, I'm just making do with what I have right now. Like I said, I keep it real, so it's not always pretty or anything. I made some instant oats that I found. I think they're actually not that great anymore, but that's okay. I added some uh, protein powder that this happened to be banana bread flavored. Um, if there's something that I actually have at home, it's protein powder. And protein stuff and yeah I'm gonna add some chocolate chips I would have added some peanut butter but I don't have any right now I'll probably get some tomorrow and yeah good morning everybody um it's the next day and I have an appointment in a moment it's just like me here wrapping up the video um, so what you saw were basically two days of I ate what I had at home and today I'm gonna go grocery shopping, so you'll see the groceries in the next video, and yeah, I'm kind of a little bit nervous, but that's okay. I hope you're like you, you stay with me like through that, because I just need to get used to it. And I also want to give like the shout out for the video for like, you know, I want to try to give a shout out to every in every video about like a creator that I found or videos that I found helpful or something. Um, and I mentioned her already in the um, episode zero, basically. Um, we are, of course, talking about the Canadian YouTuber Adventures in Groceryland, um, especially her 20, living for three, 23 bucks or like dollars a week series, where she showcases over the course of 13 weeks how to build a pantry, how to do with certain things, and. Yeah, I think in five, week five or six, she actually starts to include her husband or like her boyfriend. I forgot what she called him, but like her partner what, in, in whatever capacity. I don't want to make any assumptions here. And showcase that she could technically feed two people if she had to on this budget, which I find was like very interesting. And something I took out of that is like that I will get silicone molds to freeze pucks. Um, what does that mean? It does mean, for example, that I will cook broth from like scraps and stuff, that's nothing new to me, and then free it as pucks so that I can use it in single serving sizes because I am a single person. Like, I'm not single, I'm not in a rich, but that doesn't matter. But I live a single life. I like, I live alone with my bunnies. My bunnies don't eat my food, I eat my, I'm the only one who eats the food. So I can portion it out. And the other things are to try to 
to like calculate it into like one spice and I don't think she says it like that but that's something I took away from myself one spice and one condiment per week this week I'm gonna get nutmeg and peanut butter if I can I'll show you later um, yeah that's just like something like someone who I wanted to give a shout out to and my few tips for the day I guess and I will try to make like a section in every video if I can mentally because like I said I'm mentally ill, I'm physically ill, I'm disabled so like I don't always have the energy or the pain tolerance to be able to sit up and do these things so sometimes some videos might be like a little bit more like spontaneous like the past two days where I was not feeling too well actually but yeah I thought I would leave you at that and we'll see you like I will see you in the next video you will see me in that case bye guys